Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, you might be wondering what I mean by advanced algorithmic solution. Well, for fleens, there's actually a way to determine exactly which Zumbini corresponds to exactly which fleen, without even putting any Zumbinis down. Literally just by examining the traits and finding the correlations between the traits just by looking at them, you can figure out exactly which uh, Zumbini traits are going to correspond with which fleen traits. And to do that, I've written an advanced Python program to actually calculate that for you. Alright, so basically what the program does is it'll take your Zumbini group, and it'll take a fleen group. You have to manually input both of them, or read them from a text file, but either way you have to input them. And it'll basically say, like, alright, you've got, say, like, three ponytails, and like, four green hat hair, and so on. And it'll then compare it against the fleen traits, and be like, oh, you had, like, three of this type of hair, four of this type of hair free of that type of hair, like, and it gets those counts, then it's like, well, those directly match the counts of the fleen eyes, so it'll say, alright, so Zumbini hair will probably correspond to fleen eyes. So it kind of works like that, and then it'll basically give you the correlations like Zumbini hair to fleen eyes, Zumbini eyes to fleen feet, that kind of thing. It doesn't tell you exactly which Zumbini trait will correspond to exactly which fleen trait, because I feel like that would just break the puzzle too much. And this game really is about using the logic for yourself. I know Captain Cajun's fairy mat algorithm did all the work for you, but that was just because there was no other way to do it. But this way, you actually do still have to think. So what I'm going to do is I've got the, po uh, the, program, the program booted up right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it again. And then I'll just kind of go over with you uh, what I'm doing, because you can't actually see me running the program. But it is on GitHub, much like the last one, so if you want to do this for yourself, you can. So first thing, it'll say the Zumbini group you have to input. So you can either manually input it here, and it'll basically give you a bunch of different options, like Zumbini 1, what's their hair? Then what's their eyes? Then what's their nose? Then what's their feet? And then do that for all 16 Zuminis. Or if you have all the Zumbini's traits in a properly formatted text file, you can read that as well. I would personally recommend for you guys just manually input the Zumini. So I'm going to choose one to manually input. So now I'll say select a hairstyle for Zumini. One. One means spiky. Two means bowl cut. Three means bald tuft. Four means ponytail. And five means green hat. So I'm going to basically go Zumini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so on until we reach 16. So this is our first Zumini. So it's got ponytail. So that's four. Glasses. That's four. Orange nose. That's one. And then roller skates. That's five. The next Zumbini, we've got green hat hair, that's five. Sleepy eyes, that's two. Blue nose, that's three. Roller skates is five. Next Zumbini, five for green hat, five for sunglasses, uh, five for purple nose, and then I believe that's a sprain. That is most certainly a sprain. I thought so. So sprain corresponds to two. Next Zumbini, bald, bo uh, bald tuft, that's three. Five for sunglasses, three for blue nose, five for roller skates. Then Bald Tuft is free, Normalize is 1, Purple Nose is 5, Roller Skates is 5. Bull Cut is 2, Normalize is 1, Red Nose is 2, Roller Skates are 5, Ponytail is 4, Sleepy Eyes are 2, Green Nose is 4, Sprain is 2. Bull Cut 2, Sunglass is 5, Red Nose 2, Sprain 2, Green Hat Hair is 5, Sleepy Eyes is 2, Orange Nose is 1, Propeller is 4, Spiky hair is one, normalizer one, red nose is two, bicycle is three, ponytail four, glasses four, purple nose five, and then spring two, green hat hair is five, sunglasses five, blue nose three, pink shoes one, five for green hat, four for glasses, five for purple, one for pink shoes. All right, so we got three Zumbinis left, five for green hat, two for sleepy, one for orange, two for spring. Four for ponytail, one for normal eyes, two for red nose, five for roller skates, two for bowl cut, one for normal eyes, five for purple nose, and one for pink shoes. So now we have manually entered all the Zumbinis into the program. Now it'll, we need to enter in the fleen group. So we can also read them from a text file, but again, we're just going to manually read them. Just do it all right here. So for the fleens, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you can do them in any order, but I choose to do them in that order, like reading a book left to right and then up to down, just so that way I don't miss one. All right, so first, Fleen has green spiky hair, so that's one. A bandit mask, that's three. An orangish red nose, that's two. And then red shoes, that's two. 
Next fleet in the tree, P Purple Mohawk, that's two. Cyborg Visor, that is four. Um, we've got the Orangish Red Nose, that's two. Tank Treads are five. One for Green Spiky Hair, four for Cyclops Visor, two for Orange Nose, two for Red Shoes. Next fleeing, we have uh, Blue Ponytail, that is three. Cyborg Visor is four. Cyan Nose is five. Red Shoes are two. Red Bandana is four. Uh, Cyclops Visor is four. Purple Nose is four. Tank Treads are five. Mohawk is two. Triple Eyes are one. Purple Nose is four. Rockets are three. Then again, two for Purple Mohawk, one for Triple Eyes, two for Orange Nose, and four for Wheels. All right. This fleen is a little tough to see, but I can see that's Red Bandana, so that's four. Red Sunglasses, that's five. That looks... Yeah, that's a Purple Nose, so that's another four. Then we got Rockets, which are free. This fleen is also tough to see. We've got Viking Hair, that's five. Sungla red Sunglasses, that's five. That is an orange nose, I can see that, so that's two, and then two for red shoes. Then this other fleen behind it, Viking Hair is five. Triple Eyes are one. I believe... Oh, that's hard to tell. I can't see that nose. I can't tell if it's an orange nose or a yellow nose, because this stupid punk has his mohawk in the way. I literally cannot tell. I think that's a yellow nose. Yeah, that looks like a yellow nose. I'm going to say it's a yellow nose, and if that screws up the algorithm, great. That's going to suck. So, yellow nose, that's... F uh, could be an orange nose. No, no. no. I'm going to say yellow nose. And then followed by tank treads. All right, hairstyle for the next one. We've got red bananas, four, two for shifty eyes. Three for yellow nose, three for rockets. Two, five, one for black nose, three. Four, five, five, three. One, five, five, four. Then we got two, four, five, four. Five, five, one, five. Doggone it, that stupid fleeing back there, that's an orange nose, so now I have to do that all over again. Ugh, that's the, that's the one annoying thing, and you can't even, like, highlight that fleeing to see. If they have, like, a mohawk, you just can't flat out, you flat out can't see it. But you know what? That's, my algorithm still works. It says, eyes correspond to feet, nose corresponds to fleeing hair, then zumbini feet corresponds to fleeing eyes, which means by process of elimination, zumbini hair must correlate with flame noses. Cool. So we actually do have it all. And my algorithm would have worked, but I had that's I can't see what his nose was, which just stinks. Alright. So Zumbini hair is to flame noses. Guess what? All of these guys have an orange nose. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six flames with an orange nose. How many Zumbini's hairs do we have? Let's see, one, two. Three, four, five, six. It could be green hat hair. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Okay, so green hat hair. So all three of these will be green hat hair. So that's good to know. Uh, besides that, we know that... Excuse me, I want to pull up my program, please. All right. Zubini eyes correspond to fleeing feet. Two people up here have red shoes. Only four fleens have red shoes, so we have three with glasses, one, two, three, four with sunglasses. That looks promising. That definitely looks promising. Uh, how, what else? Sleepy eyes, maybe? We have one, two, three. Oh, yep, we got four with sleepy eyes, but how many people with red tap shoes are also have green hat hair. Four of them! Alright. Only one doesn't have green hat hair, which means that it's not going to be sunglasses, it's probably going to be sleepy eyes. Yep, it's going to be sleepy eyes. So two people up here are going to be sleepy eyed with green hat hair. Except there's also this lady down here who has the same thing. So we can't just throw out any one of those with green hat hair. And Sleepy eyes. So, thinking about this a bit more, we know Zumbini noses correspond to fleeing hair. So we have two fleens up here. Hey, those same two ones have the same hair. 
And we only have three fleens with uh, that type of hair. And we only have three oh. Zumbinis with blue noses. We only have three with orange noses as well. Oh, well. That's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting, actually. <laughs> we also only have one fleen with a green nose, which means this lone guy here is going to correspond to green nose. Sure enough, sleepy eyes for the shoes. Do dash. Do dash. All right. Well, I think we've got our two zumbinis, so she's going to trigger this guy to jump down. So this, essentially, if you do this algorithm right, it cuts out all of the guesswork, except if there are twins. If there are twins in your Zumbini group and one of those twins is on the tree branch but the other is not, that is the only time random chance will come into play. So you also have green head hair and an orange nose and sleepy eyes, so you're going to trigger that guy to jump down. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we've got to figure out this guy. So it's still going to be green hat hair. However, instead of spiky green hair, let's try to find something else. So we've got one, two, three, four, five with purple mohawks, which means we need a zombini with... What? Who has five? Which nose color belongs to five zombinis? Uh, looks like purple. Yeah, purple. So it's going to be either this lady or this lady. However, keeping in mind, this fleen has a cyborg visor, which corresponds to, I believe, the feet. Actually, wait. Let's look back. Fleen, fleen eyes correspond to Zumbini feet, yes. So whoever is going to trigger this guy to jump down is going to have a sprain, which means we need a person with green hat hair and a sprain. Well, guess what? She's the only one left, and because she's got a purple nose and purple mohawks that corresponds, she's going to make that last guy jump down. <laughs> and using this algorithm? You don't need to do no guesswork. So if you want to try out the algorithm for yourself, well just go on to done. GitHub and download the code. You'll need Python to run it. Python 3, to be exact. But if you do... You should use it. It's I think it's fairly useful, considering it's something I qu whipped up really quick. And if you want to improve the algorithm, please do. Because, believe me, it is far from a great algorithm. And I'm sure there are ways that you can improve it. And especially if someone could figure out like a way to like take a screenshot of the image and then have your computer look at it and then parse the data. Be like, just look at the image and be like, okay, we'll create these Zumbini objects that have these attributes and the Flames have these attributes and then that'll be an easy comparison and you won't have to do all the inputs. I know that's possible. I'm not sure if that would be super accurate and I have no clue how to do that. But if someone does and wants to do that, I that would be amazing, actually. Or even if you just want to make it so it's like, oh, how about we make the algorithm that tells you, hey, ponytails correspond to fleeing green noses or something like that. That also works. Anything you want to add to that code, you are welcome to, and then you can actually push that. You can, like, make a branch from my GitHub, like, where you basically take my code, and then you can push your own code into that. And that works as well. GitHub's quite a beast. So if you don't understand that, that's fine. I still don't understand GitHub all that well myself. That's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope you found this algorithm useful, and I hope you use it in the future if you are stuck. And I hope to see you for my next episode of Zumbinis. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.